some of the feet. So let's get into this tea. So first of all, I had a couple people come in my comments and ask me who she is. Um, the girl that I do the reactions to her story times. Her name is Yo DJ Star. That's her name. I will put her link down in the pinned comment. <laughs> Somebody was like, how are you even able to react to her stuff and not shout her out? Like, it's it's not a matter of me trying to shout her out, not trying to shout her out. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm actually enjoying the story. But anyway, let's get into it. Into this Jill. is Janky Jill. We have so many comments, so many DMs, messages. Everybody wants to know what happened to Jill. Is she still around? Do we still communicate? Okay. Here's your answer. If you don't know who Jill is, go catch up with my most previous story time. Then come back to this video. Sometimes when I really think about it, I kind of feel like it's my fault because after knowing somebody for three, four days, letting them pay to break my lease, moving in with them, and it was just so, so much. But at the end of the day, Janky Jill, you wrong for that. Let's get into it. Huh? So let's start right where we left off. Y'all know my ex at the time, Tracy, she took everything out of my apartment. She gutted it. She literally took every single thing. She didn't even leave a piece of land in that moment. A lot of y'all are asking me why I didn't get my stuff back from Tracy, why I didn't take her to court. Me, anybody that knows me, like, y'all, when I'm done, I'm done. I won't have nothing to do with you. You can keep it. You can have it. I've lost a lot of things from clothes to electronics to I even have to give somebody the car back. She that got to be a lesbian thing because, baby, you can have it. I don't want it because I got to fight for it. Ain't no need. You value it more than I do. You can have it. Me a car, I gave it back. I don't want it because I don't want to have to keep dealing with you. I don't want to have to keep communicating. Once I'm done, I'm literally done. I don't play none of that. I stand on big better now. Huh? When I got my car back from Tracy, okay, cool. Drive it over to Jill's house. Y'all, within the first 30 days, Jill had replaced everything that Tracy stole from me and then some. And it was so crazy to me because I'm like, bro, how were you single? The way you coming behind me, the way you the way you treating me, the way you doing things to me. How somebody let you go and why nobody ain't chasing after you? Unfortunately for me, I will soon find out why. But anyway, like I said, anything I wanted, Jill supply. Um, she asked me to quit my job. I did at that time quit my job. I know. I don't don't judge me because I'm telling y'all, when I start digging up some of y'all tea, y'all do not want to talk about it. So do not talk no, about okay. quitting my job when she asked me to. I did, I politely quit. Most of my days with Jill were spent with her going to work. Um, she worked an office job, that's what it was told to me. And I was just at home playing my video games, talking on the phone, on the internet, whatever the case may be. We was taking trips together. I think was she the first person to take me out the country? Oh, no, she wasn't. Story time on my first time out the country, because why am I going to go out of town, out the country, and want to be into it, bro? Ugh. All right, but back to Janky Jill, if you will. And it was so crazy, because I felt like a lot of my friends was trying to warn me about Jill, was trying to tell me this and that, but I was just like, you know what? Y'all hating. Y'all just mad, because I finally got the cream of the crop, creme de la creme, you feel me? And y'all hating. I just felt like back then I was way too young. The signs were there from jump, but I just, I don't know. My head was too far in the clouds to know First red flag. I'll never forget it. All right, so we at home. Jill massaging my feet or whatever. I'm laying down. I'm like, those and all kind of going to sleep. Jill on the phone with her friend. Kip. She got the phone on speaker kind of like laying on her shoulder or whatever while she's massaging my feet. Like I said, I'm, do I'm dozing off her friends. Like, oh my God, like your birthday in a couple of weeks. I can't believe you don't got no plan. Jill like, well, I'm just going to take me and my girl out the country or something. I just want to spend my birthday with her. I want to do something with her. Da, 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 da. The friend like, yeah, that's cool or whatever. But like, we still want to do something with you. Like, what do you want the theme of your party to be? Jill like, I don't know what you think. The girl like, maybe we should call it 35 and fly. Here's why I have a problem with that. I was a fresh 21 at the time. When I asked Jill how old she was, Jill told me she was 25. Okay, a couple of years, you know, that, that's fine. You finna be 35 in a couple of weeks, bro? And as soon as her friend said 35 and fly, I could feel Jill kind of turn to look at me to see if I was asleep. And I instantly shut my eyes even tighter. At that moment, I had got like a little feeling in my stomach because I'm like, bro, no way this girl is 35 years old and you lied to me, you told me you was 25. I don't know what? why, but at that time, I didn't even approach her about it. I wanted to just like, I didn't really know how to, you mean like. Not lied about her age to be younger. That's crazy. You ever know some information It's like, you know what, I don't even know how to come at you with this shit. The next morning we woke up, you know what I'm saying? It was her off day. 
So we just talking back and forth, and I'm like, well, what you think about like the people that date people that's like older than older than them or younger than them? Jill's response. She's like, oh, well, I don't really think age matters. I mean, as long as they're legal, as long as they're grown, as long as nobody hurt nobody, like I don't care. She's like, what about you? Me being me, as calculated as I am, I'm like, you know, I really don't care about age either, as long as a person don't lie to me, like be real from jump. Y'all, Jill didn't flinch. She didn't move a muscle. She looked me dead in my eyes and was like, yeah, people lying about their age. That's weird. Like, why would you lie? Mind y'all, she was just on the phone with her friend last night, and she, her friend said the theme of her party should be 35 and fly. You're not 25. You're 35. I'm 21. I asked you how old, how old you was. You told me you were 25, bro. Talk to some of my friends about it. My friends like, you tripping. I mean, okay, she grown. It's all right. Like, don't trip. Don't stop talking to her because of that. Because she was also doing things and funny things for my friend as well. Of course, y'all don't want me to stop talking to her. Hmm. Also, this was the first time in my life I felt like now... Well, like, years after that, I finally realized I was being love bombed because she would constantly ask me, like, oh, what did Tracy do for you? Did Tracy ever do this? Did Tracy ever do that? I would say no, and she would almost immediately do that. She was like, yeah, I remember mm -hmm. you told me she didn't get you flowers. I'm getting flowers sent to the crib like crazy. Edible arrangements. Definitely happened to me. Taking me on trips. I told her, like, me and Tracy, like, kind of went out of town. Like, we drove, like, you know, here enough for a couple hours, but she never took me on trips. She never did this. She never did that. Back then, I'm, you know, I'm young. I didn't know the definition of love bomb. I didn't even know what the hell love bombing was, but I was definitely being love bombed on a daily basis. And here I am thinking like, oh, wow. I feel like we all learn love bomb from Regina Carter. She must really like me. She must really love me. But it's like every time before she did something, she would ask me if Tracy did it first or did I experience this with Tracy, this and that, this and that, Tracy. And as long as I said no, she would come do it bigger and better. So love bombing was the second flag. Remember, first red flag was lying about the age. Second red flag was the love bombing. Third red flag, here we go. Me and Jill went out, you know, we at the club, everything good, everything fine. I look up and I see Tracy, y'all. And Tracy drunker than a skunk once again. I'm not paying Tracy no mind for real. I peeped her, Jill peeped her. We just kind of wave it off. You know, we still enjoying our time. Cute. I go to the bathroom, you know, because when you drinking that liquor runs straight through you. Okay, so I go to the bathroom. I see Tracy. I'm like, bro, like she all on me. She like, oh yeah, look at you. You with your new whatever. She don't got shit on me. You know how that, you know how that be. She like, yeah, I bet you're having so much fun over there being a step stud. Oh, hold on now. In order for me to be a step stud, somebody have to have a baby. Who who got a baby, Tracy? Ain't lot about kids? Talking about. She like, yeah, look at you trying to act like whatever, whatever. You know that that girl got two kids. She got two whole kids. And that, that's probably why you really were. You know, kids love you. You love kids. So yeah, have fun being a step stud. <laughs> Tools in the comments. Tools in the comments. <laughs> Part two ski on Janky Jill, bro. <laughs> Y'all can't even begin to imagine the feeling I had sitting there making out, doing all this other stuff with my new boo and my ex. Um, what? Do you know how embarrassing it is to hear your ex give you the tea on your new boo? I don't think y'all know. To the ones that have been through this before, like imagine, okay, you thinking you got the one up, you you saying you moved on, you don't fool with your ex no more, whatever like that, just for your ex to drop a bomb on you like, wait, excuse me? Back to the story time. So me and Tracy in the bathroom. Tracy drunk, but she telling me that Jill got not only one, but two kids. Two kids that Jill never brought up. Two kids that she never spoke on. Two kids that I never had. I had no idea whatsoever. I'm like, Tracy, what up? How you know? She like, oh, I found one of her old Instagrams. Plus, my sister know her baby daddy. One thing about me, I hate when stuff's too close. I hate That's crazy hate when it's a small city small town everybody know everybody like one thing i don't really like that and what really hurt me is because like i knew tracy wasn't lying tracy does this thing she get this look in her eye like almost as if she's about to cry because you don't believe her i knew she was telling the truth but my thing is why jill ain't told me we've been dating for almost two months at this point no sign of no kids whatsoever in the comments right now if you got kids or if you plan to have kids how long will it take you to let somebody else know somebody else that you're dating know that you got kids how long do y'all take not two months. I hope not. Immediately. You ain't got to see him, but yeah. Shame on you if you do. Still in the bathroom with Tracy. I'm like, bro, whatever. Like, you lying. I'm like, it's got to be a lie. I'm like, let me see. Tracy looked me dead in my eye and said, nope. If that's your... Then tell her let you see. Tell her to tell you about it. And she walked off. Not going to lie. Ate that one. Mm-hmm. She ate that. We're going to give her that one. Mm-hmm. Yo, I walked back to the section like a sad puppy. I sat there the rest of the night. I really couldn't even say nothing. Jill kept asking everything okay. She was getting drunk, kept popping bottles, whatever. You know, her birthday is approaching. And me, I'm not the type to try to ruin it, but it's like I wanted to say something so bad because I'm like, how did I miss that? 
How did you miss that? We talk about so much. Listen, today, if somebody lie to you, immediately no. Immediately no. I'm telling you right now. If you lie about something small, oh, the things that you can lie about that's big? I don't want to find out. No. So much. We have done so much. We've been to so many places, so many dates, and not once. Even when we see kids like, oh, they're so cute. You never mentioned you had kids. And let's not forget, she still lied about her age. 25 and 35 is a big jump. I don't care how you look at it. Telling me that you're jump. 10 years older than what you really are is kind of crazy. Yeah. Boom, we left the club that night, Jill drunk, whatever, we make it home, she's passed out, I cannot sleep, it was bothering me, I'm on my phone, now me, one thing about me, I'm not the best lurker, if it's up to me to find the tea or something on social media, I fail already, because I'm not good, how y'all be that good like that? I got this one friend, she could find anything at any given moment, all she needs is a name, or a picture, or a whatever, she will get a Inspector Gadget to the T. But me, I'm going to only give myself a couple of minutes to find something. And if I can't find it, I'm not going to let it worry me. I'm moving right along. I can find nothing on Jill. My job, Jill told me that she wasn't into social media. And I felt like, oh, dang, you know, we young. So I thought when she was 25, I'm like, it's kind of crazy that you don't have social media, that you're not into social media. None of that. Like, wow, I'm impressed. She like, yeah, I just like to be locked in. I don't be really studying social media. I be having stuff to do in real life. So I don't be wanting nobody on the internet keeping up with me. So, boom. Lying. Definitely got a whole Facebook. Whatever, next morning comes, Jill wakes up and she's in complete happiness about her birthday. And I just didn't want to be the bad news bearer. Like, one thing about me, I don't play about my birthday. If you okay. around me and I feel like you're doing something to purposely bring me down or ruin my mood around my birthday, you got to go. That's a different type of evil. Yeah. So I was like, of course I can't bring this up now. She's smitten. She happy. She's like, oh, yeah, I want to get matching fits for my birthday. This, this, and that. I want to do this. Like, she's doing the whole birthday prep. Y'all girls know how that go. Nail done, hair done, everything done. Mm -hmm. One thing about Jill, although it was her birthday, she was doing her birthday prep. Anytime she bought her something, she bought me something. I feel like it was my birthday, too. I'm like, Jill, let me do something for you. She's like, no, you're my biggest gift. You're my greatest gift. All I ever wanted was you. Just sit back, relax. It's our birthday. We're going to do this together. Da, da, da. I'm like, God, damn. you know, she, she make it hard. She really made it hard for the next, if you will. What sucks is I felt like I really couldn't enjoy it because, like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, bro, you lied about your age. You're lying about having kids. Where are the kids, Jill? Where the kids at, Jill? Fast forward, it's the night of her party, 35 and fly. Now, mind you, she was on the phone with her friend. She was telling her friend, like, look, I don't want nothing there saying my age. Let's just throw a party. Balloons, you know, happy birthday signs, but don't show my age. Mind you, she thought I was sleeping. She even said that? And then was like, yeah, because anybody lying about their age, stupid. If I... And you over here lying? All the time, but I was, yeah, ear hustling. We walk in, and one thing about her friends, they did that big one. It was real themey, real, it was like a gala themed. Everybody dressed up, whatever like that. I'm looking around, no signs of the 35. Everybody telling happy birthday. Everybody got their gifts. Okay, cool. Now, one thing I noticed, they had like pictures and posters of her plaster all around the building, which you know, it's her birthday, so all eyes on her. Cute. But one picture I get to, and it looks like she's pregnant. There's a, there's a bump there. There's a little baby bump there. So, Jill, what, what is that? I pull her over like, oh my God, you're so pretty in that picture. Were you pregnant? Jill just looking at me, y'all. Sorry, pee myself because maybe you didn't hear me. Oh my God, you're so beautiful in that picture. Were you pregnant? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I mean, I was, but we'll talk about that later. No, 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 no. <clears throat> it's nothing to talk about later. What do you mean later? There is no later. Was you pregnant or not? <laughs> the f this is the subject just walks off. Now, I am a firm believer in time and place. So, yes, that was not the time to talk about, you know, whatever. I, again, oh, yeah. it was the night of her birthday. I'm not about to ruin it. I'm just going with the flow. But it's like, okay. Are y'all a time and place person or a lie in place person? Because if you've lied to me and you keep lying to me, Bro, it's, it, it ain't that much like I ain't going to trip in the world. Like, I'm going to trip. I'm going to trip. Dude, at this point, you playing with me, Jill. Come on, you got to give me something to go off of. The party was excellent, by the way, from the food to the vibes. Everything was everything. Now it's time. Jill had got us a hotel room for the night. Don't know why we just couldn't go to our house, but okay, fine. We got a hotel room. You know, I decorated the hotel room. I did, you know, nice little things. Cute. We get to going to sleep and we're doing what grown folks do. And out of nowhere, Jill's like, I want to have your baby. Uh, so me being me, I'm like, but don't you already have two? 
She said, what did you just say? I said, don't you already have two kids? She pushed I'm me. I'm definitely not saying that while we doing it. That's some TV shit. Like, <laughs> you see it on TV and somebody <laughs> said it and just messed up the whole nut. Like, I'm going to get my nut first. <laughs> I'm going to get my nut first. Then, I ain't going to lie, I'll bring it up afterwards, though. Mess up the whole little nut high you just got. Uh-uh. Ah! First of all, you know I can't get you pregnant. That's number one. Hello. Let's, <laughs> I'm just, I need to make sure that you are aware that I cannot. Because why are you screaming, get me pregnant? Like, what are you talking about? That's number one. Number two. Ah! You got children. Bitch, go get a glass of wine and everything. Hey, baby, I just want you to know I appreciate that sex that you had just gave me or whatever. However, come. Ah! Yeah, I got questions. We offer her, starts crying, and runs into the bathroom, slams the door. At this point, it's approximately one, two something in the morning. It's no longer your birthday anymore. It's who cares about who cares about that nut when you know she lying about not one but two children? Me. I care about my nut. Cuz, <laughs> you gotta, me. <laughs> nut first, Qu ask questions later. What are you doing? What are we talking about? That nut at that po at that moment, cause you know I already lied about the kids. I'm already about to cut you off anyway. So I'm gonna get my nut. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna have a conversation. Cause uh, first of all, two kids was a non-negotiable. I guarantee she was 25. Two kids was a non-negotiable. For her. She wasn't trying to do that. And then you lied. That's another non-negotiable. And you 35. I'ma still get my nuts. But after that. It's time to get down. I'm uh -uh. like, Jill, what's going on? Like, come out the bathroom. We need to talk about this. Do you have two kids or not? She's like, oh my God, that is so crazy <laughs> of you. I don't want to talk. It's easy for y'all. My shit will be softer than the ice cream in the summer on concrete. <laughs> Good. That's why I would never want to be a man. Oh my God. I cannot imagine doing it. Mm. 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 Oh, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Oh my God. Hold on. You just got to spit started and shit. Like what? <laughs> what? Gots to see it through my boy. I got to see it through, my boy. Mm -mm. Talk about it. You don't know what I went through. You don't know what I... Do you have to... Am I being manipulated right now? Huh? What do you mean? Just answer. It's a yes or no. You don't have to tell me all that you went through. You don't have to tell me this. Do you have two kids? Yes or no? She's like, yes, but you don't understand. You'll never understand what I had to go through. Like, I love my kids. I would never deny my kids. Oh, but you did. She's like, you know what? I don't want you here anymore. I think it's best if you just leave. I thought you'd never ask. I'm getting my stuff, walking to the door. Jill has in front of the door. I'm just like, no, you're not going nowhere. <sighs> I'm lying. I probably still finished, but I'm gummy worming her the whole time. <laughs> so that's what y'all call it when you halfway soft and halfway hard, a gummy worm. So you telling me, okay, I have questions. So you still come with the gummy worm? The gummy worm still come? Gummy worm is depends on how soft. Hey, hell no. Oh, so does it feel good if it's soft? Threes in the comments. Three. I have the questions. The comments are part three. Skin. I'm being held hostage in a hotel room, and I finally realized like I don't really know this girl like I thought I did, and honestly, that's one scary feeling. Not gonna lie. <laughs> like lied about your age just found out that you had two Your kids last longer. who knows what else you done lied about <laughs> she blocking the door now she's kind of bigger than me not only that she's drunk and i don't know about y'all but i feel like it's so, i'm sorry to cut you off friend it's too much politicking and to have a for me i love my taco and i really hate when men be like you want to be a man i would never want to be a man 
Only thing I like about y'all is that y'all lose weight faster. Or that I will feel some type of way about rather. Y'all lose weight faster. This right here, this bite thing. You know when you bite? Men, when they bite, it look like a, like a, I don't know. You see that bite though. Like you can see that bite. I've always felt some type of way about that. Um, and this, this back muscle piece right here. I'm actually, cause I just got the shower, but this, the, the, uh, what is it? The, the trap or the, I think it's the trap. That muscle right there be looking sexy as hell. That's it. That's the old tricep. That's the only thing I care about. That muscle tricep, the bite. And um, I forgot what the other one was. But yeah, other than that, I don't give a damn about none of y'all. <laughs> Some people be drunk. They just get strong out of nowhere. Like, where does strength come from? I'm talking comments. I could be like, all right, Jill, you got to get away from the door. You got to let me leave up out of here, okay? She's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Give me a chance to explain. Nah, being a man ain't terrible. Having a pain is awesome, LOL. It's only betray you one out of 2,000 sexual encounters. <laughs> well, give me a chance to speak. Oh, no, okay. all of a you want to I still don't want one. Explain <laughs> and speak and tell me this, this, and that. You too much too late, baby. It's time for me to go. Yo, what? She's Sucking the gummy snack is the worst. Hold on, y'all. Slide over right quick. This is my video. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. This is my video. It's on Royalties World Live. This is my video, which means I'm going to talk to my chat while we on this video. Now, if you want to watch her video, the link is in the pinned comment, okay? If you don't want any disruptions, please go to the pinned comment. Other than that, I'm going to talk on my video because that's what videos are for, especially on your channel or especially when you react. All right? Y'all slide back in. I needed to tell them something right quick, but anyway... One out of 2,000 encounters is top tier. However, I still don't want it. She's sliding down the wall, literally sliding down the door, sitting there, Indian style in front of the door. She's like, I'm not letting you leave until I tell you everything. Like, okay, go ahead. First of all, she get to talk in the circles about how she's always had a hard life and this isn't that. Ah, ah, ah. I just want to know about these kids. And I want to know why you lied about your age. Everything else, pray about it. That's the, that's the best advice I could give you. Don't try to talk me in circles or all this other stuff. Tell me what I need to know so I can leave, bro. She's like, okay, so yes, I do have two kids. I had one when I was 21 and another one when I was 25. Mind y'all, she's 35. So if she's 35 right now, she had a kid, one kid when she was 21, the other kid when she was 25. How old are the kids? Let's see. Four take away two, 19, eight, 18. I don't, I don't get paid to do math. Y'all do the math yourself. Y'all put it together and let me know in the comments because I still don't know. So she's telling me she have a boy and a girl. She's telling me their names and all this other stuff. She's like, I can show you pictures. We'll have to bam. She's like, I just wasn't the best mom. So I gave them up for adoption. I just felt like I wasn't ready. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm like, it's not like I was going to ask to meet them. You know, you could be as private as you want to when it comes to your kids. But why you just didn't throw that out there? And when I brought it up, why you act like I was crazy? Like, and why you in this hotel room tonight telling me that you want to have my baby? Like, excuse me? So she just get to talking okay. about how she feel like that was the best decision and everything like that. And I'm not here to judge. If you, I would rather you do that than to, you know, do something very odd and strange to your kids. Of course, give them away to somebody that you feel like would be in better care. Cool. She's like, yeah, so Monday through Friday, like, I go and I be their nanny. Ho whoa, 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 whoa. You told me you had an office job. You told me you worked for corporate America. Now you a nanny Monday through Friday? Wait, what? She is a compulsive liar. Not only that, you a nanny to the same kids that you gave up for adoption? What? <sighs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, yeah. Okay, okay. Come, t take it in with me, y'all. Like, okay, so... Monday through Friday, when you leave the house and go to your corporate office job that I thought you had, you actually getting paid to babysit those same kids that you gave up, Right? She's like, yeah, the couple that I gave them up to, they're actually very rich. And so they use me as a nanny just so I can still have my finances and stuff like that. And that way I can still spend time with my kids. So you a nanny to your own kids? That's another lie. I think. I hope. You. <laughs> Yo, I was such an odd like. Because honestly, 
Good plan. Not gonna, we, gotta give, we gotta give it to Jill. Good plan, but damn, you could have let me know that. She goes into saying how she's really private about her kids. And, like, I understand that. I get that 100%. But you could have at least been like, you know, hey, I'm a mom. You didn't even have to go into deep detail. But it's the fact that you tried to make it seem like I was crazy, bro. So I'm like, okay, moving on. About your age. She's like, yeah, with my age and everything like that. I could have sworn I told you I was 35. Maybe you heard wrong. I was going to say the same thing. Like, maybe she, you know, misunderstood or something. These ears. I actually, I feel like I got fairly big ears. They not going to hear it. When you talking about stuff like your age, maybe your Zodiac. Oh, I'm all ears, baby. There's no way I heard it wrong. You said 25. And I'm like, oh, okay, you a little older than me. When I said that, you could have been like, oh, 30. 20, 30. That's two different types of teens, <laughs> baby. We going back and forth. She's talking about how she just don't want to lose me. And she felt like if I if she was to mention her kids, that would like run me off, this, this, and that. You didn't even give me an opportunity, bro. It just, I don't know. I just get weird vibes now. And it's like, what else are you lying about? You lied about where you worked at. You lied about how old you were. You lied about the kids. What else are you lying about? You might as well put it all on the floor. And it's like, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like, I feel some type of way because you have two kids out here, but you're spending a lot of time with me. You're spending a lot of money on me. I don't know. It just made me kind of feel away when she said that. Y'all, I don't, I can't really put my finger on it, but maybe somebody in the comments can tell me like, I don't know. Like, she's like, look, I know you upset with me. I know you feel some type of way. And I definitely understand that. Like, I don't want you mad at me. I should have came forward and told you all of this, whatever. So like, yes, I have two kids. Yes, I'm 35 years old. This, this, and that. Yes, I'm a nanny. I don't work at my um, office job. I just don't want to, you know, run you away. Y'all, the whole time she talking and apologizing. It's like, I could not stop thinking about Tracy. Like, yeah, Tracy might want the cleanest cleaning up around the crib and everything like that. But one thing I can say, Tracy never lied to me, y'all. She never did. Yo, I start missing Tracy so bad. I'm like, you know what? I can't. I need to call. That's why. I, that's why I ain't going nowhere, boy. You think the grass is green on the other side? What Tyler Perry say? But the water bill was high, so you want to go back? I ain't got time. We gonna deal with each other. Oh, Tracy, I need to apologize. Even though Tracy did all that to me, she gutted the house out. She took all of my belongings. I still felt like I should. Should I have apologized to Tracy? Right now in the comments, let me know. Should I apologize to Tracy or should I have just let it go? What y'all think? You should apologize. And in that moment, to Tracy. I just realized like. It is so crazy how I thought I was moving on to something bigger and better and whole time I don't feel comfortable like continuing continuing continuously continuing. I don't feel comfortable wanting to continue this whatever we got with you because it's like damn, one thing I can't stand is a liar, bro. You don't owe me that. She's like, look, I know you upset, but I have booked us a trip to Paris already. Everything's paid for. Like, go on this trip with me. Then when we get back, you can cut me off. You don't got to talk to me. We can go our separate ways. It's fine. What? Perry? Par Paris, France, you say? Not going to lie, y'all. I ain't never been in Paris before. And 21 in Paris is a big de deal. You understand me? So I said, okay. I did. I agree. I said, look, this Paris trip going to be our last time when we get back. It's cut off. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want you to try to... Now, nah, the grass concept. green or wherever you water it. I like that. Like me, it's a done deal, bro. I accept your apology. I'm going on this Paris trip because it's already booked and I don't <laughs> want you to waste your money. So we can go ahead and do that. Falls in the comments. Falls in the comments. I'm probably first. Y'all, I hit my ex up. That's right. As soon as I left the hotel with Jill, it's just that I had this feeling where I just really had to call Tracy, y'all. I know. I'm going to give y'all a moment of silence to dog me out in the comments. Go ahead. We need to just leave her alone. Tracy doesn't need me. Why did you even call her? You <laughs> left her for Jill. <laughs> okay, y'all done? Y'all ready? I had to call Tracy and let her know, like, dang, I don't want this to be a whole I told you so moment, but you're right. She do got two kids. One is 14 years old and one is 10. And I really can't believe it. Y'all know exes love when they write. She like, yeah, see, I told you. Yeah, and that's who you want with now. That's who you left me for. Da, 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 da. I'm like, Tracy, look, me and her going to Paris in like a week. If you don't hear from me within two weeks, you even need to come to Paris to save me or alert, let the world know I'm missing at this point because I don't know. I just really couldn't trust you, but something inside of me just... I would not be talking to her anymore. There's no way she would have been able to call me and tell me none of this. I wanted to kind of like find out more. A little risque, if you will. So, boom, the week of us leading up to Paris, me and Jill, you know, I just let her know, like, look, we're not together no more. We're on just a cordial, friendly basis. I had to lay down a law. I don't want you to think just because you're taking me to Paris, we're going to get back together. It's going to make us better. Or, you know, we're going to fall like it, it ain't that. I'm going because you already paid for it. I don't want you to waste your money.
At this point, I think Tracy was just happy to still be in contact with me. She was like, yeah. And if two weeks pass by, I don't hear from you. I'm coming to Paris and I'm going to do this and that to Jill because I already owe her that. But I, I should have just got her when I had snuck into her house. But you know what? I just let her have that die. Tracy, be cool. The morning of our flight, something seemed off. But I'm thinking, like, that's just me being in my head. Because, I mean, like, a trip to Paris, what could possibly go wrong, right? I definitely wouldn't have went on a trip with her. Wrong. First thing I noticed while we was in the airport, somebody kept texting and calling her. And it's like, okay, look, damn, I know we're not together. But I'm just curious. Who is that? She's like, oh, it's my brother. He constantly keeps asking me for money. I'm trying to tell him that he needs to, like, you know, be a man and do this and do that. I'm like, your brother blowing you up like that? Now, we all got brothers and sisters. Do they be blowing y'all phone down like that? Now, maybe my little no. cousins, you know, like if I promise them something, they want something, or they're going to call me from that iPad. They're going to keep FaceTiming, they're going to keep calling me. But she has like an older brother, she told me, and that's who keep blowing your phone up. Keep that in mind. But whatever, I'm not the type, I don't want to ruin trips. I don't want to argue. I'm just trying to keep everything cool. You know, you're taking me to Paris, everything's paid for. Let's just get the good vibes rolling. The flight was pretty cool. I slept for most of it. Um, I caught Jill just constantly looking at me like, well, wake up, and she would just be staring at me. And I'm like, what? She's like, you're just so beautiful. Like, I, it's just, it's effortless with you. Like, I just cannot stop looking at you. And, All right, here you go with these sweet nuts. Now, remember I told you now, this is just a trip. B basically, it's like a little business trip. A girl's trip, if you will. It's none of that. It's not a vacation. Business it's is none crazy. of that. So be cool. All right, so we get over there. We're in Paris, France. You can't say France. It's France. You understand? We get over there, see a room. She booked a nice room. We had a nice view. They still had, like, happy birthday decorations for her. She was still celebrating her birthday. She's actually a Libra. A lying Libra. Ah, if I got a any in the comments, just don't. Fun fact, Tracy's a, a Pisces, for those of you who's asking. But anyway, we get over there, and immediately we get settled, put our bags up, and we outside. We're drinking, 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 having fun, having fun. And I notice, like, Jill is trying to get, like, a little too touchy. And I'm just like, look, remember what I told you? Nah, be cool. She's like, yeah, but it's so hard for me to resist. And I just can't keep my hands off of you. Well, you better learn. So, boom, we out, we sightseeing. We got this guy showing us around. Everything's good. It's time to go back to the room so we can get dressed and go for dinner. Still getting our vibe. Jill is in the shower or whatever. Her phone is, like, constantly ringing. Yo, ringing, ringing. I got a story that I think I'm going to tell. I got so many stories. She is... Making me want to tell. <laughs> I'm like, Jill, your phone hasn't stopped ringing. I don't know if it's an emergency. Like, I'm trying to handle her phone. She's like, oh, no, I'm in the shower. Answer it. Who is it? I'm like, it's your brother. And, you know, I answer it because that's what she told me. I answer like, hello. The voice on the other end is like, yeah, thank you for letting me use your car this weekend. I'm going to make sure I put some gas in it before I give it back to you. Is it my weekend to get our kids or are you going to leave them with the fosters? Is it your weekend to get y'all kids leaving with the foster? With the contact name say brother. I couldn't even say that. He's like, hello? Hello, Jill? Hello? He like, man, can you hear me? You out there in Paris? You're like, you can't hear nobody. Hello? Baby mama? Baby mama? Also, this is not your brother. This your baby dad. And this your huh? baby dad. You would think the lies would stop at this point. Like, we we talked about it. You lied about your age. You lied about you having kids. You lied about whether this was your brother. And you would think that the lies would stop, Jill. She couldn't even say that. She could have to shower like, wait, who is that? I'm like, well, it says your brother, but clearly it's your baby daddy. Wait for it, y'all. She's like, oh, that's weird. Why is he calling me from my brother's phone? I maybe was born <laughs> at night. But I wasn't <laughs> born last night. <laughs> at that very moment, I'm like, dang, I'm literally about to get arrested in Paris. I'm about to go to jail in Paris. You playing with me for the third time. Why would y'all be? Yo, uh, Master Mommy, you want me to tell y'all the story first I can? Y'all not going to believe me. Be daddy, go to your brother. Use his phone to call Especially you. the story that's in my mind. <laughs> oh, my God. You know how things kind of resurface? I haven't even thought about this in a long time. This story right here is crazy. But the whole time, that was your baby daddy blowing up your phone while we was in the airport. The whole time, the whole time we've been here, study calling, calling. That's not, that hasn't been your brother. It's been your baby daddy. Y'all Libras, it don't stop with y'all. The lies never stop. Y'all could get caught a million times, and you're going to keep on lying, keep on lying. And it's Libra season. That's the crazy part about Y'all deserve nothing. Not a piece of cake, not a balloon, no confetti, nothing. <laughs> Fives in the comments. We got to get Jill up out of here, y'all. Fives in the comments for the lying Libra by the name of Jill. Janky Jill, so janky, such a liar. Fives in the friggin' comments. Lying to me is one thing. But lying to me when you have absolutely no reason to unprovoked, I can't respect it. As y'all okay. may know, I told Jill, like, look, due to the previous lies, we can't be together. I don't want to fool with you like that on that type of level. But yes, I still agreed to go to Paris. Cute. 
We out here in Paris and the whole time you lying like it's your brother when it's indeed your baby daddy calling you and still you're like playing stupid like, oh, I don't know why he would call me from my brother phone. He have his own phone. I literally had to talk to her with my hands, holding my hands behind my back because I'm like, if she keeps talking, my hands don't get to moving. And I don't know the laws and rules and regulations out in Paris, but one thing I do know, I'm not trying to go to jail in Paris. Yo, she's saying everything, trying to convince me. I'm like, Jill, just stop talking to me, bro. You're lying. You got caught up, and I'm not understanding why. She shouldn't have never went to Paris. It's not like we together. It's not like you owe me anything. We was at the airport. I asked you who was that constantly blowing up your phone. You could have been like, oh, my BD. I don't got a BD, but I know how. I know sometimes how that can be. Like, I know how sometimes how that can go. You could have just kept it a bean. By you being 35 years old, why you lying to a 21-year-old, bro? I was completely blue. Y'all, Jill stood there for the next two minutes just trying to study a lot. I said, you know what? If that's your brother, call your brother back right now. Call him back right now. Put him on speaker. She's like, oh my God, I can't even believe I'm doing all this to prove to you. I don't even know why you're so upset. You're right. We're not together. I shouldn't have to do all this. Call your brother back for... Jill says, okay. Dials the number back. Puts it on speakerphone. The brother answered, hello? Jill like, yeah, is everything Okay. The brother says, yeah, why would it be something wrong? I should be asking you that. You the one out there in Paris, you cool? Jill was like, yeah, how mom doing? The brother said, mom, what you mean? He's like, you know who you call, right? Jill was like, yeah, of course I know who I call. I'm just asking you a question. The brother says, yo, you ask me like I'm your brother. You know, I'm your baby daddy. I don't know how y'all mom doing. <laughs> Jill was like, what? Like, I don't understand what's going on. Like, are you with him? Do you have his phone? The baby daddy says, what? You know, I don't even put your brother like that. Why would I even be around him to have his phone? Yo, I walked outside the hotel room. I'm just walking. Jill is like coming after me, chasing after me. I'm like, Jill, bro, leave me alone. Stop talking to me. It's what's done is like, done. How do we even end up in Paris? How can you even afford Paris? Are you part of the mafia or something? I wouldn't have never went. It's nothing to explain, bro. Well, 21, I probably would have went. She finally like, okay, I'm just gonna give you some time to like calm down, to kind of like take a breath of fresh air. Like, I'm gonna be right back in the room. I'm not going anywhere. Like, please, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in two. Like, I'm worried about you. Ah, I just kept walking. The only person I wanted to talk to in that moment was Tracy, y'all. I immediately called Tracy. Gave her the tea. Tracy's like, oh my God, I knew it. That's so messed up. I knew she was fake. I knew she was funny. I tried to tell you and I keep telling y'all, bro. Tracy was on the phone doing her big one. She's like, yeah, low key, that's what you get. But at the same time, she got you messed up. She better not ever let me see her. I'm gonna get your lead back. Da -da 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 -da. So I told her, like, look, I really don't want to be out here with her no more. Like, it's no fun for me. I can't, because it's like, bro, who are you doing the most when you don't even have to? You could have told me what it was straight up and I'd be like, okay, cool. Like, it's nothing. Right. We're not together. Right. We're not fooling <laughs> with each other on that level. We already established what was going on between you and I. So why you lying? Tracy like, don't worry. I can get you a flight to come back home tomorrow. Like, oh, Tracy, I where you get this money from all of a sudden? But I'm going to do your big one cool. Tracy gets me a flight to leave the next day. Not like, the ex got her flight. Literally, she booked a flight. I'm out of Paris and I'm going to be on my way back to the United States. I get back to the room with Jill and she's cleaning up. She's like, you know what? I do owe you a lot of apologies. I have just been like not being completely truthful. Like Jill, I don't want to hear, bro. The truth is already out. There's nothing to talk about. You could have been confessed all of the real stuff months ago. But we're here now. I don't have anything to say. She's like, okay, let's just try to enjoy the rest of the trip. We got like four more days out here. I don't want to be on this type of time with you. Let's just go to sleep and try again tomorrow. We're going to try again tomorrow, all right? Went to sleep. Jill sleeping on the couch as if she she expected me to ask her, like, don't, don't you want to get in the bed? Like, no, sleep on the couch. Jill got up, got in the shower that morning, and I quietly packed my things and went to the airport. I'm out. Get back to the stage. Tracy picked me up. Me and Tracy went out to eat to debrief and talk about all this and all that. Tracy actually apologized to me, y'all. She's like, you know what? I was just very upset with how you moved and did things, but you didn't deserve none of that stuff that I did to you. Da -da 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 -da. No, me and Tracy did not get back together. We were kind of like good friends for a minute until I started dating someone and she wasn't cool with the whole being friends with the exes. So I did have to cut Tracy off. What y'all think? Do y'all care if y'all partner be cool with their exes? Like, like the ones that's strictly cool, not the ones that still want to be with their yeah, exes. If, it, if it's ones that strictly cool don't nobody care bro <laughs> long as you strictly cool but a lot of times this is not strictly cool the ones that still got feelings not the ones i mean like would y'all care right now in the comments would y'all care if the person y'all was dating just had a cordial relationship with the ex let me know Jill came back to the States, y'all, and it's like she would not leave me alone. She was like, oh, well, I still just want to take care of you. Just let me send you money. So, yes, for a while, almost a year, Jill was just sending me money. It was strictly on money time. I was not seeing Jill. I was not talking to Jill unless I wanted something or I needed something. 
Jill actually put me in my brand new apartment. She did. Um, she paid my rent up. She bought me new furniture, new decor, everything. It was supplied by Jill. It was. But Damn. then I felt like Jill was doing these things in hopes of us getting back together or, you know, just wanted something more. And I had to cut Jill off. I actually had to put a restraining order against Jill. My first ever restraining order went against Jill, I think. Nah, it was that. The, the second person I had to put a restraining order on was Jill. Moral of the story, I don't really know. I don't. <laughs> it's actually hella morals of the story. What did y'all take away from the story? <clears throat> I know somebody was like, never leave the one you love for the one you like. But sometimes that sh it do work out, though, for real. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, okay. like, it's not my fault that Jill presented herself to be this type of person. Then when I actually got with her, it was like, bro, who are you really? Y'all want more story times? Let me know. Once in the comments, I think what happened in Vegas should be next. But then y'all want to hear about the first time that I got into it when I went out the country with somebody. And I know y'all probably going to want to hear about the time that I put my first restraining order on an individual. So y'all just let me know what we doing. Lying to me. Is Her life is crazy or was crazy. <sighs> well, it is because she just had a debacle a couple weeks ago. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.